An environmental equipment firm in Tokyo has developed a new type of disposal equipment that can clean up radiation-contaminated debris. A town in Fukushima Prefecture will begin trial use of the equipment. The company says the wreckage is heat-treated in an oxygen-free environment and broken down into gas, oil and ceramic powder. The treatment can reduce the volume of rubble from the earthquake and tsunami in March to about one three-hundredth of the current size on average. As the ceramic powder absorbs the radioactive material, the firm says the process is expected to create no contaminated ash. Could you hear everything? Yes. Many municipalities in Fukushima Prefecture are struggling to clean up radioactive debris from the nuclear accident at the Fukushima Daiichi plant. The town of Hirono in Fukushima Prefecture plans to begin test use of the equipment next month and consider its full-scale introduction. I even went so far as to falsify the report. Several thousand anti-nuclear protesters have clashed with police in Germany, trying to disrupt a shipment of reprocessed nuclear waste. At least 20 people were injured. On Saturday, thousands of citizens set fires and staged a sit-in on rail tracks that will be used for a train to carry nuclear waste to a storage facility in Gorleben. The cargo train carries about 150 tons of reprocessed nuclear waste from France. Germany has a contract with a French firm for the reprocessing of nuclear waste. It was the first shipment of nuclear waste into the country since the March nuclear accident in Japan. In Dannenberg, near the storage facility, more than 20,000 people held a rally to call for an immediate shutdown of all nuclear plants in the country. The German government decided to shut down all of the country's plants by 2022, but a plan to build facilities for the permanent disposal of nuclear waste has been suspended. But a plan to build facilities for the permanent disposal of nuclear waste has been suspended. What the fuck? People in a town in disaster hit Iwate Prefecture got to enjoy a traditional year-end event on the Saturday, making rice cakes. The event took place in a schoolyard in Miyako City, where temporary homes have been built. The residents took turns pounding the rice cake and called out each time the mallet was brought down. The fresh rice cake was then coated with toasted soybean flour or sweet bean paste and served to the participants. It's so tasty. I think I pounded the rice cake very well. The event was organized by a group supporting people in the disaster hit areas. Mountain climbers and university students joined the event as volunteers. I'm glad that many people gathered and were able to smile together. The evacuees and volunteers came to know each other through this event. U.S. space agency NASA has launched its new sophisticated Mars probe in search of evidence of life on the Red Planet. An unmanned rocket carrying the space rover Curiosity lifted off from Cape Canaveral in Florida on Saturday morning local time. Curiosity is the largest Mars probe ever and it cost NASA $2.5 billion to develop. NASA says Curiosity will land on Mars some 200 million kilometers away in August. It says the nuclear-powered probe will use six wheels to move around and sample rocks and sand from the surface using various instruments such as a robot arm and a drill. It can analyze samples on the spot. NASA says rocks in the area where Curiosity will land likely contain water, and it hopes to find organic compounds, a sign that life may have existed on Mars. 
NASA Administrator Charles Bolden says he and other staff are excited to send the state-of-the-art space rover to Mars. He said that NASA will work on the technical know-how for a human mission to the Red Planet. The U.S. government has announced a plan to send manned spacecraft to Mars by the middle of the 2030s.